All right, in this mod, we are going to learn how to win. If this player shoots this object, then enemies are going to pop out of this thing. And then I'm going to show you how to change the scene into a new level. Okay, so this is going to be probably about a five or ten minute video somewhere around there. So I'm just going to get to it, create an empty over here. I'm going to go to a blank layer in this case, which is three. I'm going to press shift S into the cursor to the center. And I'm going to create a mesh up. A an enemy right here. So what I'm not going to do to save uh, f uh, time for the video is add a property to this, add physics to it, and add movement so it follows the player. But I'm assuming you're going to do that. So this is just an enemy right now, um, and I'll just say it always steers towards um, the player. So you're going to set that up. I'm not going to do that right now uh, to save time. So this is cube 006. So I'm going to say when this object collides with the bullet from layer wall to layer two. I'm going to add an and and hook this up. Then I'm going to hold shift and click on the empty. And here's the empty right here. So make sure that you click on the empties actuator, not the cubes. So add actuator. It's going to edit object, add object. And the object I'm going to add is cube six. So now I'm going to go and hook that up. So now when I shoot this object right here, a cube is going to pop up here. So just to make sure this is and I should probably make this thing disappear too. So let's add actuator here. This is going to edit object, end object. So it's going to collide, end itself, as well as add another object. So the cube is ending while the empty adds an object, if you see the difference between these two. So now I'm going to go in here. Let's see, I'm going to add collision bounds to this thing. So press 0 to go into camera view. Press P, and, and there it goes. So this guy didn't kill its, it didn't end itself. I wonder why. When it enters a bullet, it should end itself. Oh, that's because there's two of them. Alright, so I'll go back into the mode and shoot that, and then it disappears and another cube adds itself. So in your case, that's going to be a small enemy that runs around. So what I'm also going to say, um, when you kill all of your enemies, there should be some... When you kill all of your enemies in your game, because you have you've you've been making three platforms, like I said to do at the last video. So at the end of the last platform, there should be an object that you can shoot that will send you into the next scene. So in this case, I'm going to make it um, this box right here. So I need to add collision bounds to this. I'm going to say when when this guy. When this guy is shot with a bullet. Um, I already did this, so that's what the, explains this. When this guy is shot with a bullet, it ends itself as well as adds another scene that we haven't created yet. So I'm going to create a new scene. Click up here on scene. I'm going to click plus. I'm going to create new. This is nothing. So I'm going to shift A, and then, and then this is where you would create another level, a short one. Um, and let's just say I'm going to add a player here. Um, I can go back to scene one, and you want to add the same player, and the same camera, and the same empty. So I would take this, I would go to object, game, where is it? Alright, this is going to take me a second. You send this, show hide, we need to send it to a different scene. And that is right. This is going to take me a second. I just forgot. Object and data. Make single user object and data. Make local. Where is this at? Make links. Here we go. Objects to scene. Scene 001. So these guys are also now going to go to scene 001. Okay. And if you move this around here, I'm going to deselect everything. Select this. Press Control I. And if I move this around, let's move it way in the air. And then I go back to scene 1. It's also in the air. So... Don't move this. Whatever you want this player to be oriented in compare in relationship to the world, build the world around where this player starts, okay? So now just to see if this works, I'm going to press control S to save it. I'm going to go back to scene. And now when this guy is shot with a bullet, it goes to set scene, and it sets to scene 001, okay? I'm going to save that, and then I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to shoot this, and I'm going to shoot that, and now I'm on scene one. There's nothing there, so let's try this.
Oh, it's not a, you got to make sure it's Blender game. I forgot to do that as well. So that's why it was a gray screen. So let's go back here, scene one, go back into the camera view, press P, shoot that. And now I'm here and I'm not shooting anything because I didn't copy the bullet as well. So when you, when you make the links, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to select this. And then I also need to object, where's make links here? Whoops. Object, make links object data to scene 001. So now when I go to scene 001, I should be able to shoot. So if I press zero to test it, go into camera view and I'm shooting, okay. So all I want you to do is scene one, when you're done, this is three platforms with five, I, whatever I said in the last video, I think I said three platforms with at least five enemies that can kill you. And then after you do that, on the last platform, after you kill the enemies, there should be something that sends you to scene two. And then scene two is, a, is just one platform with at least five enemies. I want to see that you can make the jump back and forth, and that's all this module is.